Hello, this is a video on SCCM software usage. Myself and my colleague Sean Walker are going to give a demo on running SCCM software usage. The agenda is what is software usage? What is SCCM software usage? We, move de we then move on to the demo and finish with summary. So what is software usage? It's, it talks about who's using a, a software product, when the software product was last used, how many times the software product has been accessed, and the total time the software product has been used. These usage records are stored in the SAMP SW usage table. So what is SCCM software usage? It's an SG SCCM SAMP usage scheduled input job that is installed along with the other out of the box SG SCCM service graph connector scheduled import jobs when software asset manager is installed in your instance. It imports software usage data from Microsoft Configuration Manager, also known as SCCM, on a monthly basis. So now on to the demo. Myself and my colleague Sean Walker are going to give a demo of running this SAMP usage job. Sean is going to show you how to create the reclamation rule needed for this job to run successfully. I'm then going to walk you through how the software usage job uses this reclamation rule as part of its execution. And then this is going to be followed by a demo of actually running the SAMP usage job. We're going to be going ahead and we're going to be bringing in some usage data from SCCM. So we have an SCCM environment connected to this instance and we actually are metering some software, um, some software products. So what we're going to do today is we're going to actually bring back some of that usage data and show you how SCCM data gets brought in. The first thing we're going to need to do is set up some reclamation rules for that software. So what, what uh, software are we metering in that environment, Amory? And um, we're Google, uh, we're um, doing Chrome. Chrome. Okay. So yes. Yeah. So we have metering enabled for Google, Google Chrome. Chrome. And I'm not going to talk you guys through the setup of a reclamation rule because I've already done a video on this. So if you haven't watched that, please make sure you watch the other video on how to create a reclamation rule. And so we're just going to leave it very basic. It's total use time. We're going to say one hour. Save that. There we go. And we are going to um, add the product now. So we're going to add the product we're wanting to bring metering data in for. And so make sure we get the right one, Google Chrome. Nope, not that one. We want this one. And we're going to hit save. And then if we take a look here, right, this is an important piece is that we've selected the product Chrome. And ServiceNow knows that Chrome is tied to the executable uh, Chrome.exe. And that's really important because SCCM doesn't when you set it up for metering you don't meter based off of a product it's looking for a very specific executable um, so if you pick the wrong one in your software product list here it could very well have the wrong executable that sccm is tracking the usage data for so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead or what actually i should say what do we do next amory how does sccm bring that data in yeah, thanks, Sean. Um, so for an SCCM, there's a, a software usage scheduled import job that you run. Um, so if you go down to, actually, if you want to show first the data source um, that, that's associated with the software usage job, you can show um, like the, out of the box what the data source is or um, the, from the last time you used it. And we can see here that um, Chrome is not in here in the SQL query. What happens is that the software usage job it looks up the reclamation rules table um, to see what um, reclamation rules you have to find. And then based on that, it'll dynamically update the SQL query to include, it'll be included in our new Chrome um, product in this uh -huh. query. Okay. So we can see here that the Chrome is not existing here at the moment. So once we start the job running, um, it'll query the table, see that um, Chrome has been added and then dynamically update this query to include Chrome and then it goes out to Microsoft Configuration Manager or SCCM um, to, to, to pull back the software metering data for Chrome. And, um, and oh, okay, so, great. Yeah. So yeah, then let's leave this open and we'll see what happens. We'll see that actually change when we run the import job. 
So I just opened up the, oh, I thought I opened it up in a different tab. One second here, let me get that back. All right, so now I fixed up my windows. Sorry about that. So now we're going to find the usage job here. If I could type. And we can take a look at that. So this is the job we want to run, right, Amory? That's right, Sean, yeah. And just, just to call out for the demo purposes, this job runs monthly on the second day of the month. And for the purpose of this demo, we changed it to 30 to be the, today, the 30th of May. Um, but that out of the box have to be equal to two as opposed to 30. Just to okay. call that out. Yeah. Perfect. All right, so now we're going to hit execute now and run this jobs again. You wouldn't normally do this execute now. This is just so we can actually show you what happens. So if I come back over to the the data source job, we should see here that, yeah, the SQL statement has in fact been updated when that import schedule job ran. And let's take a look and see if we can find from out. Oh, and there it is right there. So Perfect. Chrome, Chrome has been dynamically added to this SQL query because we added a reclamation rule for Chrome. So now right. with any luck, there'll be usage data in our SCCM and system that we are can pull we pull back into SAM usage table. So we're going to go over to the workspace again, come down to license operations, come down and find our software usage. And we're going to take a look for Chrome. So let's take a look for Chrome. Maybe we should put contains Chrome just in case because we don't know. And there we go. We now have we usage yep. information uh, in our system coming in from SCCM. And just to to show you guys that it is in fact data coming in from today. We can just put our updated date on here. So you guys can see when these records were updated. Um, and there they are. So the created, you can see they're created by me today. Today is the 30th of May. And we now have usage information coming in. So now this can be used um, by the, um, you can now compare against the reclamation rules and it can create removal candidates. So that's pretty much how software usage data comes into SCCM. So thank you very much, Anne-Marie, for that quick overview of how those SCCM jobs work. Yeah, you're welcome, Sean. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Perfect. So just to summarize, um, what we reviewed was what software usage is. We also reviewed what SCCM software usage is, and we demonstrated how to run the SG SCCM SAMP usage import job. And lastly, just to finish up with some more information, um, I'm including links to the ServiceNow documentation page on Microsoft SCCM software usage, and to an SCCM white paper I wrote, uh, which includes a section on SCCM software usage. Thank you.